Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and in this video we'll be talking about the Parallel Desktop 17, an all new version released a couple of days before. And this Parallel Desktop 17 is quite interesting to see how it runs natively on the Apple M1 chipset and how the performance has been improved a lot comparing to the Parallel Desktop 16 itself. So if you have seen my earlier video while I was talking about the Parallel Desktop 16 running natively on Apple M1 and how it runs Windows 10 ARM based operating system on it, like how speed it was, but now it is even more faster. So if you just click this what's new in version 17 and if you can see over here, you can see that the all new Parallel Desktop 17 is optimized for Windows 11 and Mac OS Monterey, which is awesome. And at the same time, you can also see that using the Apple M1 device, they have improved the performance of the Windows startup like 33% on the Apple EM1 and the resume time for Windows 10 is like 38% and it is faster direct as 11 and disk performance is 20% better this time which is quite interesting to see how far they have really really made the improvement this time. And also I'm quite interested to show you how it actually runs the Linux and the Windows operating system on the Palo Desktop 17. So I'm not really going to talk a lot about the theoretical stuff. Let's jump into Windows 10 and see how it actually works. So I'm just going to select the Windows 10 this time and I will show you how the performance of the booting of Windows 10 is going to look like. So I'm just going to start this Windows 10 right now. You just saw me clicking that button. I have just installed a fresh Windows 10 operating system and you can see that it's currently booting. That's it, it's booted right now. It is really, really faster. And I also saw the performance of the operating system is quite faster than compared to the earlier version of Parallel Desktop 16, because this time I see that the performance is quite faster. You will see that it is like launching super fast. So let's say if I open a browser, so this is the Firefox browser running over here. And let's say if I just open the Google, or let's say if I just open youtube.com like that and let's play this video you will see that the performance is quite faster and at the same time I also see that the performance of the file explorer opening up is also much much improved you can see that it's coming up super fast and also the disk performance has been improved a lot which means you can access the the files much much faster this time and if you try to copy paste some of the files from the Mac to the uh, Windows 10 just running on the ARM based operating system it is going to be faster as well. I mean we can't run a full blown Windows 10 operating system right now on the uh, parallel desktop yet because uh, this is an ARM operating system and Parallel Desktop is still not ready to actually uh, run the non ARM based operating system and ARM based Apple M1 yet but that's going to be supported pretty soon I guess but as of now you can see that it is running quite faster I'm not really going to show you like how the Visual Studio is going to run because those things we have already covered in our earlier video but for now I'm just going to show you how the Visual Studio code can run so let's say Visual Studio code and if I just go uh, I mean pick a time I could probably do that later download the build save the file and you can see that the performance of doing all these operations are quite faster and if i just open it up i agree hit next 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 install and there we go the visual studio code is installed and there we go we have the visual studio code running for us which is cool so you can see that the performance i don't really see any performance glitch so far i mean it is it's quite faster as if like i'm working on a normal operating system it is super fast over here at the same time if i just see the activity monitor on my uh, mac operating system you can see that it is not really spiking anything at least on the performance side so you can see that like it has used super less like 14.1 percentage it's not really using anything if i'm not doing anything on the parallel desktop on that particular guest operating system so if i do anything over there probably that will spikes up but it's not taking a lot of percentage of the cpu and now i'm also going to show you how to run the ubuntu operating system as well so i'm just going to go and select the uh, ubuntu which is kind of suspended right now so i'm just opening it up let's just open up in my different screen there we go so you have this ubuntu operating system up and running as well 
So there is a multi-monitor support of Ubuntu operating system right now. So you will see that I have Windows, I have Ubuntu operating system and my Mac operating system all running parallelly with Parallels 17. And this is faster as well. I mean, you can see that the animation is quite good, not that bad. Uh, and if I just close this thing and if I type the terminal, I mean, if I have like two operating system, I could see there is a bit of performance glitch here. Um, at least the animation, you can see it's a bit lagging. But while I was running just the uh, Ubuntu operating system, it was a bit faster. So that's it, guys. This is the Parallel Desktop 17. And we have seen like what are the performance improvements happening. But you can also see that there are many new features that has been added this times, like in the Mac OS, in the virtual machine. So in the collaboration with the Apple, the Parallels engineer have created the world's first prototype of the Mac OS Monterey virtual machine running on the Mac with the Apple M1 chip, which I still have to do it. I will be probably doing it like a separate video. But as of now, I could see that it is running quite faster, the Windows operating system and the Linux operating system. That's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Meet you in the next one.